I'm now going to demonstrate the operation of the TTAFM. The first step is to introduce a sample into the microscope stage on the top of the piezoelectric scanner. This is done with a pair of tweezers. The next step is to introduce the cantilever into the microscope on the cantilever cassette, shown here. The next step is to align the laser onto the cantilever so that you can get uh, light into the photodetector. That's shown here. We're moving thumb screws back and forth, and you can see the red dot alignment is changing on the computer software screen. Now, to establish the calibration of the scanner, you do range check, which moves the scanner in a square box to find the absolute range of the scanner. Once this is done, you can go into tip approach and start moving the probe towards the surface. This takes a few minutes, depending on the distance of the tip from the surface. We go to the next tab, and we can set some scan parameters. For example, here we're going to go through a 20 micron scan, and the, zoom, the scan range is shown on this box. And once that's done, we can begin scanning. And the sample scans back and forth below the tip. The image appears on the computer screen. Now, if you want to optimize the PID parameters, you can do that. As shown here, we change the gain of the microscope from 2 to 8. The amount of time it takes to scan the sample depends on the scan range and the scan parameters which are used to scan the sample. The scan can take somewhere between 1 and 5 minutes depending on the conditions. As the scan is made, the image is built up on the computer screen as shown here. As you can see, the TTAFM is a rather unique instrument. It can be purchased fully assembled and tested or as a kit. If you purchase the kit, you can attend one of our assembly workshops and put it together with a group of other customers. Finally, you can learn more about the microscope at afmworkshop.com. Thank you for watching this video.